This weekend, the Boise State Broncos won their first bowl game since 2017. They defeated the North Texas Mean Green 35 to 32. Half of our sports team is back in Boise today after traveling to follow the Broncos. Brady Frederick joins me now to recap a big weekend for the Broncos. And it really was an exciting game, Brady. It at least the second half was. Yeah, absolutely. They definitely picked it up yeah. uh, scoring-wise and uh, made that a really exciting, kind of close, mm -hmm. closer game than, than uh, a lot of people are saying because of how it ended. But, but it's they won. A fun one. Yeah, they got the win. In fact, with a win on Saturday night, Boise State secured its 27th 10-win season. They're tied with Blue Blood programs like Alabama and, Acl and Oklahoma for the second most nationally That's and back good. on track to yeah. winning bowl games. It feels like the future is bright, especially when you look at what the underclassmen on the team are doing. What a way to finish the season from Boise State quarterback Taylor Green. The redshirt freshman rushed for a career-best 119 yards and a pair of touchdowns. He also passed for 137 yards and another touchdown. He was named offensive MVP as it caps off an incredible freshman campaign. So what's next for the rising sophomore? Well, he says he still has a lot of room to grow. Just going to reflect on this year and just the crazy year that this has been and just the ups and the downs and, you know, just take everything in and, you know, just just learn from learn from everything. That's that's my biggest thing. Got the big win and just take it into the off season and, you know, I still have a lot, a lot, a lot to grow. And Coach Cutter reminds me all the time. So. <laughs> So the offensive MVP has a bright future. The defensive MVP just wrapped up a storied career. Middle linebacker Ezekiel Noah picked up the defensive honors after pulling down his second career interception. He finished out his college football campaign with six total tackles and a tackle for loss on the night. Over the last six years, the San Diego native became a mainstay of the Bronco defense, both as a leader and a playmaker. And after the game, he reflected on the memories and relationships he's made in Boise. I just, just try to soak it all in the last couple of days, weeks. Um, yeah, I want to miss it. I want to miss it a lot. It's just the program in general. Not only the program, the people. People are more important, man. The, the connections, the, the bonds we have, we create um, throughout the program. You know, not only between the coaches, but the whole staff as well. You know, the, the people that we're around, we, we always try to make an impact on them. And that's what's fun about it. So.